Recently, I changed my car to a battery electric vehicle, or BEV. BEVs are not equipped with an internal combustion engine. They are powered only by electricity. BEVs are really quiet and comfortable during driving. Their environmental performance is also high. They are an excellent means of mobility in our daily lives. However, the number of BEVs on the road is still small. There are still many issues to be solved to spread the use of BEVs. To make BEVs widely accepted as a popular means of mobility, Denso has been working to solve three main issues. Extending the range, decreasing the charging time, and extending the battery life. Denso offers solutions to these issues by combining thermal systems with electrification systems, which have been refined for many years of operations. The first issue is extending the range. BEVs cannot use the waste heat of the engine, so using power for heating significantly affects the range. Maximizing the recovery of electricity and heat is the key to extending the range. In winter in particular, heating with an electric heater, which is powered by the battery alone, may reduce the BEV range by up to 40%. To cope with this issue, Denso uses a heat pump air conditioning system to extend the range. Denso's heat pump air conditioning system uses the heat in the atmosphere as a thermal energy for heating. It is more efficient than a conventional electric heater. Many vehicles on the road around the world have already been equipped with this system. Denso has also made it possible to use the waste heat from the electric powertrain during driving, including the electric motor, inverter, and battery, for heating through a heat exchanger called a chiller. In other words, the mechanism to fully utilize electricity and heat minimizes the battery consumption for heating and dramatically increases the range. However, this is not as simple as connecting pipes to recover heat. It is necessary to perform control such that each component delivers maximum performance. That is why Denso. We can do this because we develop in-house electrification systems, thermal systems, and ECUs for controlling all these systems. The second issue is reducing the charging time. To perform fast charging when it's hot in summer, the charging rate must be controlled to prevent the battery from becoming too hot. Otherwise, it deteriorates and loses its initial performance. The key to reducing the charging time is efficiently removing the battery heat during charging. Denso uses its proprietary technology to control the battery temperature by using a cooling medium. The cooling medium recovers the battery's heat and it flows through the chiller where the heat is transferred to the refrigerant flowing in the thermal system. The cooling medium continues to circulate to cool the battery cells. Denso's chiller, which exchanges heat very efficiently, is half the size of the conventional model, yet delivers the same performance. Its small size also makes it easier to install. The cooling technology significantly cuts the fast charging time. The third issue is to extend the battery life. After many years of use, the temperature difference among cells results in performance difference between them. This causes battery deterioration. Minimizing the imbalance is the key to extending the battery life. Denso has developed unique battery control technology based on its expertise in sensing and control technologies. Denso's battery management unit can accurately monitor the battery condition during driving. The temperature imbalance among cells is minimized by constant cooling using the cooling medium, thus extending the battery life. Previously, the battery incorporated more cells than necessary to offset this deterioration. Denso's battery control technology helps reduce the number of cells used in a battery, reducing the weight and cost. To make BEVs widely used as a means of mobility, it is increasingly important to 
to ensure integrated management of heat and electricity, as well as the control and vehicle systems. Denso will contribute to spreading the use of BEVs by solving these three issues.